Nintendo's Game Boy Advance has sold 6 million units since it was released last June, and it pretty much stands alone as the only portable gaming device. Here at E3, we not only found accessories for the GBA, but also some other ways to game on the go. Even among all of the next generation consoles, fans still flock to check out the latest add-on gadgets for the handheld Game Boy Advance. And there's plenty out there. This is the e-reader from Nintendo. Due out in stores mid-September, the e-reader system consists of two parts, the actual reader and the cards. Swipe the card through and mini games, bonus levels or characters are automatically retrieved. The cards will sell in packs of three to nine for two to three dollars a pack. Also from Nintendo, this is the GameEye, a tiny camera that will store your pictures onto your Game Boy Advance. This working prototype includes a two times digital zoom. The GameEye can be used as a standalone device, but in this demo, when linked to the GameCube, the GameEye really gets you into the game. Nintendo says the GameEye is still in development and is only planned for Japanese release. We got a sneak peek at Nikos Worm Cam. The attachment turns your GBA into a full feature digital camera. The picture quality is comparable to a webcam and features include simple editing, slideshow and PC linking. There is no zoom, but for under $50 we were still impressed. Look for the worm cam in stores by the fall. The Game Boy Advance may be the only handheld system, but consoles aren't strictly for your living room anymore. The trend at this year's E3 are portable LCD monitors, a concept spearheaded by Sony with its newly designed PS1 combo unit. With the PS1, Sony's been able to keep the quality of the existing PlayStation game console, but bring it to a smaller, more compact form, so you still have all the game quality, but it's just a lot easier to take it out and about with you. The LCD screen is 5 inches and includes built-in speakers. The combo units are available now and recently reduced to $150. Nintendo also showed off its concept for a portable GameCube screen. No price or announce date has been set for this one, but Interact is ahead of the game with LCD monitors for all three consoles. All have a screen size of about 5 inches. The PS2 and GameCube models are available now and sell for $149. The Xbox version is expected out by this fall. The size and weight may not make this the most mobile package, but adding a personal monitor has its advantages. With the monitors, now you have a LAN party action without having to lug a television around. Um, additionally, they all have simulated surround sound speakers, so you get the home theater experience in a box. And as for the GameCube, add the mobile 90-minute battery pack for $50 and you are truly ready to game on the go. Game developers are taking portable gaming even further. With the arrival of third-generation cellular networks and new wireless game titles, mobile gamers have even more to play with. Of all the applications on a phone, games make the most sense. And in fact, it has proven in Europe and in Asia where more than 70% of the revenues on these services come from gaming applications. The consumers have not yet had a chance to enjoy some of the, the games that will be coming out uh, in the next three to six months in, in the United States. Let the games begin with developing platforms like Java and Brew, color screen handsets and PDAs, and the arrival of third generation cell phone networks, U.S. gamers are finally getting the chance to play graphically enhanced games on the go. With in initiatives like uh, Java and Brew in the U.S., uh, we are coming to uh, full on uh, color games with graphics, animation, uh, meaning that we can have games uh, that look more like the games we're used to uh, having on the platforms like Game Boy, for instance. To bring this better level of gameplay to the mobile gamers, handset manufacturers are adding color screens to their phones, and carriers like Nextel are offering games on their network. Sprint and Verizon are launching game service with their third-generation networks for mobile phones nationwide later this summer. If you have um, a Java phone or a Brew phone, um, you can today on the website you purchase the game with your credit card or you can choose the game directly from the cell phone and download it directly over the air to your cell phone and start playing. There is an amazing amount of interest, an amazing amount of expansion, there's a, an amazing amount of opportunity. And with all of this, there's also a great deal of development that's going on behind the scenes. And E3 is where the developers introduce their games to the gamers. 
Some of the titles we saw were Siberian Strike in Color, Rayman Pocket for the Nokia Communicator, and a Tom Clancy Rainbow Six game called Urban Crisis from Gameloft. Digital Bridges is releasing Star Trek, World Cup, and Scooby-Doo games. And Nouveau Studios has titles for ESPN and WWE. You can also play games on any pocket PC device and Palm device. More and more PDAs support either memory stick or SD or multimedia cards, so you can envision having the game sitting directly on the card and purchase that in a store just like you would purchase a Game Boy cartridge or any other game. Well, I think today is the very beginning of uh, wireless gaming. People like to play and they like to play all the time. So from there to playing on your cell phone is just a small step. Analysts estimate that global revenue for wireless gaming will reach $4.4 billion by 2006. One-on-one -on -one wireless gaming is still in the early stages, but as networks continue to advance, Developers say they'll be ready with games like this one, Rayman Pocket from Gameloft. We wanted to take a closer look at it because it really popped out at us. It's very similar to the console version, except there are fewer worlds. The entire game only takes up about two megs of memory, and Nokia and Gameloft plan to ship a demo version of Rayman Pocket with the 9210 communicator. You'll be able to download more levels from the web.